So Carl DeMaio uh, had a, a basic a publicity stunt where he, he uh, had a fundraiser for the, the businesses that supposedly can't do very well here, uh, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. Because we had hundreds, sometimes a thousand or more people here in the square, and what business, like if you're a coffee shop, doesn't want to have a few hundred, or maybe a thousand people to sell coffee to? Um, they're shut down as a political stunt for DeMaio right now. He did a fundraiser basically to keep them closed and give give kick uh, basically bailouts from the city instead of proudly running their business to instead take money from the city to, uh, to help them out. I think it's backwards. I think DeMaio is undercutting his own philosophy about helping small business. This doesn't help small business operate. This helps them to close. He should be standing for our constitutional rights to have a sanitary and functioning encampment here so that we can have our meetings, that we can talk about how to change our government for the better. We can talk about the foreclosure crisis, the uh, financial meltdown crisis, all the things that are happening, the unemployment situation. Uh, we have to be dialoguing about this. This is the place to do it. And this is why we're here with this uh, uh, lawsuit now today, opening up campus for a cause, and, and Brian Peace is the attorney. Uh, but the thing last night was basically basically a non-issue for us. We did not confront Carl DeMaio over his little fundraiser. Uh, there were some people, um, you know, asking him some stiff questions, you know, tough questions about why he isn't doing anything for the whole situation here. In 2008, the uh, coffee shop owner in 2008 complained about homelessness back then. And three years later, she's complaining again, but this time blaming it on the occupiers. Um, most of the occupiers that were here during the encampment were not the same homeless set that she was afraid of in 2008, by the uh, So no, that's, that's something that is, we're very uh, uh, disappointed that a mayoral candidate abused our free speech, uh, constitutional rights to free speech as a, uh, as a gambling chip uh, playing card in this game of, uh, of politics. So it's that's, that's very important. I understand there were some structures set up last night, uh, table. Oh yeah, um, uh, that's true. It's interesting because uh, Carl DeMaio's uh, person set up a table up on the, uh, the area up there saying that he was uh, handing out um, uh, information about how to get employed. And so very quickly, uh, the occupier set up a table across from him uh, with some uh, literature of uh, the reader, um, you know, employment page saying, here's some employment, but also talking about the occupation. So yeah, you know, we're not allowed to have tables anywhere here in, the, in this area. We're not allowed to even set something down and be more than like 12 feet away where the police converge on it. Um, it is a violation of uh, courtesy, really. You know, if you go to the beach uh, and you want to go for a swim, you set your towel and your, your stuff down, maybe maybe even a, an umbrella, a chair. You don't expect the police to confiscate that while you're in the water. It's common courtesy for them to defend your, 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 your uh, possessions while you're busy doing something. Here, they will come in and confiscate and pound anything that you set down. Uh, what was the, the tone like between occupiers and Carl last night? Were, were people participating? Were they supporting the fundraiser? Uh, it was very uh, lightly attended, even though it was a Monday night football night. Uh, I, I didn't see hardly anyone there. Uh, there wasn't really any supporters for, for the Miles cause. Maybe half a dozen. Uh, I mean, that's just for me looking in to see who was there. So as far as I could tell, it was a complete failure uh, from his standpoint of doing any kind of fundraising. And I noticed it didn't appear uh, in the newspaper today, uh, which was nice because it was our, our goal to, uh, <laughs> to not raise his, his stature any more than necessary by, uh, you know, maybe occupying the place and putting 99% signs up and all that kind of stuff. Because we think what he's doing is disgusting. We don't want to have any part of it. He can go over there in his little uh, toy box and, and have his little games that he plays. But this is not something that you would expect from an honest God by our own candidate. Uh, it's basically the worst of politics is what you're seeing demonstrated. Somebody catering and, and using these, putting these businesses out of off, out of commission so that he can make some points.